Let's talk about thermaling etiquette. All glider pilots are taught the basic rule to circle in the same direction of other gliders already in the thermal. While that rule is crucial, it's not complete. In order to avoid the threat of mid-air collisions, some additional thermaling etiquette rules need to be applied. This video will provide you with five rules and one strong recommendation for safe thermaling. The rules apply with as few as one other glider in the thermal and become essential as more gliders thermal in close proximity. Let's check it out. Almost all gliders have blind spots. There are usually anything further behind than 45 degrees and anything more than 45 degrees below. If you can't see the other pilot's head, they can't see you. With that in mind, let's get to the rules. Rule number one. When approaching a thermal with gliders in it, never aim at the center or even the edge of the thermal that you're adjoining. Aim wide of it and only tighten up as you establish the timing to join opposite of the gliders already in the thermal near your altitude. Rule number two. When joining a thermal with another glider, establish yourself at the opposite side of the thermal. You can control that by altering your speed as you approach or by staying wide of the thermal until the existing glider is opposite of you. If there are three gliders, you form a triangle. Four, you form a square, etc. Be careful that once there are more than three gliders at any given altitude, each glider will be forced to trust the pilot behind them as they can no longer be seen. If there are several gliders near your altitude, you might need to wait until a gap opens up. Rule number three. When in the thermal, stay on the opposite side by altering your speed and or turn radius. Avoid flying behind the other glider, as they can't see you. If two gliders scrunch together, it's the glider in the rear that should fix the separation, as the lead glider can't see the one behind. Sometimes two pilots have different opinions about where the center of the thermal is. In this case, safety must prevail, even though you feel the thermal is not being properly centered. Slower gliders should fly a smaller turn radius, and faster gliders a larger one, in order to match the turn rate of everyone in the thermal. Rule number four, never turn inside, that is, show your belly to another glider if you are near the same altitude, generally within about 500 feet. When you turn inside, there is a period of time where neither glider can see the other, so it is extremely dangerous. Rule number five, never establish a thermal so close to an existing thermal that the circles of the two overlap. Either be far enough away that they don't overlap or stay close to the established core. And now a strong recommendation. If another pilot thermaling with you is violating these rules, you should consider leaving the thermal. Making a radio call might work with two gliders, but with any more, you would be contributing to an already chaotic situation. Following these rules keeps everyone safer. Sometimes these etiquette rules result in slightly non-optimal climbs, but are required to ensure safety. So let's review. Aim wide of the thermal circle. Establish opposite the other glider. Stay opposite by altering speed or turn radius. Never turn inside another glider. And don't establish a thermal close to an existing thermal. If it's getting dangerous, leave. Did you learn a new thermal etiquette rule today? Do you have any other rules that you use? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and your comments are very much appreciated. For additional soaring resources, including thermaling tips, see my soaring resources website, thesoaringpage.com. Thank you. See you next time.